Hey, yes, that, I've got one too. Look at you that. You want that one? I mean, they okay. are quite extraordinary. Are they, yeah. I think they're going to just show us. And look at that. Yeah. Hello, I'm Jeffrey. Hello, I'm Stephen. It's like, but welcome to Squawk Box. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's European. It's on the, um, but they anybody, are. Anybody guess that Steve's had too much chocolate already this morning? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just Steve Mob Happy. They are quite extraordinary. Now we did have um, a gentleman came in a couple of years ago who 3D printed us um, on a bit of plastic, didn't they? Yes. And uh, it took a long, long time. It was very complicated, now. And I have to say, um, it was a great result, but it took a long, long time. Ha has technology on 3D printing, mo I mean, clearly the answer is yes, moved on very aggressively and very quickly in the last couple of years? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we actually started with 3D printing when we first launched, which was in Selfridges about two years ago. And then when we were making faces then, it would take about half an hour. This is actually a CNT machine that Chris has built. Tell so me what that means. Sorry, what's a CNT? So machine? it means computer numerically controlled. And it's basically like a robotic drill. Right. And what that does is actually drill out a block of chocolate into oh, your face okay. very quickly. So we're now down to about, well... So this isn't a 3D printer. This is a sculpture. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So it's the candy carp machine. And basically, we're down to about four minutes, if you've got quite plain features. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, think, I think you'll find kind of quite classic features, actually. Yes. Isn't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when you say plain features, I mean, what, well, what's, what's complicated features, then? If I had some if you've huge... you've got a beard or... Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's more no, complicated for you, then, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> um, what about scalability of this? Because this is fantastic, it's niche, and, you know, in Selfridges, I can see the market. But, I mean, how can you roll this out and expand the model? Yeah, so we started uh, doing events, so private events, corporate events, um, but we quickly realised to get scale we need to kind of remove the geographical barrier yes. and us being there. Um, so we launched a website and we've got um, sort of online gifting cards, um, so, you know, things like things yes, like that. Yes, you have now. made the Happy Easter yeah. CNBC chocolate now, mm. available to all our viewers. Uh, <laughs> they just have, apparently they just have to write it and they get one for nothing. <laughs> what, is the, um, what, what is the business outlook here, Ben? Um, I mean, how, how do you take this forward? Uh, what are the export opportunities? What does Brexit Absolutely. mean for you? Yeah. All important questions. Absolutely. So we're actually launching a crowdfunding campaign in mid-April, which you can log on to www.candymechanics.com. That's the advert. Um, exactly, yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, so, yeah, if you'd like to invest, then that's how we're going to scale the business. So right. we're looking to actually go international, both with building an app for the 3D scanning of the chocolate faces mm. and scaling the candy cards into all over the world. Brexit, we'll see. I we'll mean, see. can the government tell us? I'm told Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.